Welcome back to Just Do Know's video tutorial series. We'll be covering design elements and their settings, and we'll do so in the context of three of our available elements, button elements, discount elements, and product recommendation elements. Now, you can add any element to your design by clicking the plus button on the left-hand side and dragging the desired element into the design. Once you do that, you can see on the right-hand side here, we have both styling and settings options panels. Once I click here, I can see that the click actions are available and that might change based on the type of element that I have added onto this design. So let's move on to our buttons. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this container here and we'll click on our buttons to find that we have multiple actions set, which is a feature of the Just Your Know Design system. When you add in a button, by default, it will have no settings. It will have no click actions and it will literally say do nothing. You can choose from any or all of these options to assign an action to your button. In the case of a form, I have two actions set. I wanna first submit the form and then I actually wanna link this to the next frame. In our case, the next frame would be the success frame where someone might see a discount code layer. Here we arrive at the discount code element. Now our discount code elements are modular, meaning that they are built and managed independently of the designs that they are used in. So I can actually go to the commerce section of Just You Know and set up fixed or unique or synced discount codes in as many different ways as I want and I can use them on as many different designs that I want. Therefore, when I add a discount code element to my design, I can then go to the settings after I've styled it and I can choose one of the many discount codes that I've already created to use in this design. Finally, let's look at our product recommendations element. I'll go ahead and drag it in here. And then once I do, I'll see that there are a few more styling options and a few more settings configurations that I have to choose from. First thing to note is that like our discount codes element, this is also a modular feature. So within the commerce section of Just You Know, I can build out multiple product recommendation algorithms and use them across different designs. Once I actually select an algorithm, I'll see a few more responsive options, such as how many products do I actually want to show in this row based on the device that a user might be seeing this design on. Further down, how many products do I actually wanna limit this carousel to? How do I wanna show or hide various buttons? And then what do I want the copy on each of the buttons to say, including variants for different product sizes or colors or anything like that? And then finally, for our more advanced users, you can actually edit the plugin code. So what have we covered? Today, we learned that elements have both design and styling options and settings options, both available on the right-hand side of the design studio. We also learned that these element settings range based on the element that you've added in and the context that you wanna use that element in your design. But we looked at three key examples. Using a button to submit a form and moving to the next frame, we looked at discount elements and the various ways that you can set up and use those within your designs, as well as product recommendations. Both of the last two being modular features that can be independently built and managed in other sections of Just you know, and dragged in and used in your designs.